Hey there, uh, in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to execute your C++ or C program inside Ubuntu Linux operating system. As you can see, I have my basic Hello World C++ program and it is stored with name Hello World.cpp. What I'm going to display is just Hello World and it, it should return the rest of the prompt on new line so in order to execute this program what you need is GCC compiler this compiler will compile C and C++ related code on your system so just type GCC in software center and you will see it will show some compiler related files and debugger related files if you have GNU or GNU C or GNU C compiler in your search term just type GNU C and you'll find objective C compiler, C compiler, multi-lib files you need GNU C compiler here it is already installed by default you can use any previous or current version there are two packages which are by default installed once installed you'll be able to execute any C or C++ related programs as Ubuntu makes use of many such programs while executing itself um, applications are going to need a Gnu C compiler by default and you're likely to have it already so unless you need any new version you, uh, you can easily execute with the currently installed compiler after that let's go back to the program then let's see if our program compiles g++ hello world dot cpp dash o hello world see it's compiled right now and in order to execute hello world program we are going to type period slash hello world and then see as you can see our terminal has the output hello world now it is on new prompt after that you can see there is going to be the executable version in the folder yes as you can see there is cpp file and hello world folder coming back to the program you can make the changes in such way that some of the library files which are already part of Gnu C compiler can help you compile your program or you can download additional libraries execute the programs dependent on those library files and see how much Gnu compiler helps you on Linux and that is basically all that I have to say so Thanks for watching. Bye.